sponsored by Audible. Go to audible.com slash cow to get your free audiobook today. Is there anything less American than a healthy debate? I don't even know what a healthy debate looks like. I mean, why would I actually open my mind to new ideas when I could just assert my own beliefs over and over as loudly as possible? My unchanging opinion is right. No, my unchanging opinion is right. See, every once in a while, there's something that happens in this country that really divides people. Normally into just two sides because, well, anything more than that is just confusing to us. Anyway, everyone picks a side and starts viciously defending their point of view. No, you have it all wrong. My unchanging opinion is the right one. No, mine is right. Well, if that's how you feel, then why are we even arguing? I don't know, but boy, does it feel good. I want to make sure that you never, ever have to engage in a meaningful discussion about anything. So today, I've got five tips for shutting down a healthy debate. Number one, you're going to need to generalize your opponent. And yes, I said opponent. This is no longer a friend you're talking to. This person is now your enemy. Anyone who disagrees with you about anything is your enemy. You can't sympathize with them. You can't try to be understanding. You just have to look at them as the one-dimensional scum of the earth that they probably are. I mean, anyone who thinks the way that they think must be a crazy person, right? So in my experience, I think that that policy is harmful, and I don't think that that politician ought to support it. Uh, so, so that means that you're obviously a member of the other political party then, aren't you? No, not at all. I just disagree with that. Oh, blah, blah, blah. When you said that you disagreed with my politician on just one issue, that meant that you're my enemy and I hate you. <laughs> Empathy is the enemy. Empathy will make you lose the debate because in a moment of weakness, you might actually consider what it would be like to be in someone else's shoes. Okay, number two, demonize. You have to demonize your opponent by doing whatever you can to destroy their credibility. Some popular terms you can use to do this are extremist, radical, bigot, right wing, left wing, and fringe. There are plenty more too, but that'll get you started. Basically, you need to ensure that if your opponent makes a valid point about something, well, it doesn't matter because you've already labeled them as a raving lunatic. La la la, I can't hear you. Can't we please just have a normal conversation? No, because you're so wrong that it's scary. Next up, number three, get defensive. Take everything that your opponent says very, very personally and then throw it back in the face. And that's how I feel about that topic. I just can't see how any rational person thinks that way. Oh, so you're saying that I'm stupid, huh? Well, you're stupid! Your two best weapons of defense against a healthy debate are actually my final two tips today. Number four, pride. Look, it goes without saying that you're right about everything. You just happen to be the one lucky person on this entire planet who knows everything about everything. So take pride in the fact that bestowing your limitless knowledge to the rest of us, well, it's just your cross to bear. Anyways, so those are just my thoughts on that issue. <sighs> Lord, thank you for placing me in this situation so that I can tell this guy what an idiot he is. What? And number five, fear. Fear is your best friend when engaging in an unhealthy debate. Unhealthy debate thrives on the fear of being wrong. It's the fear of living in a world full of people as smug and stupid as your radical opponent. If only your opponent was as wise and enlightened as you. But the truth is, they can't be. Because there can only be one person that is never wrong about anything. And as long as you never forget that, you'll never have to worry about a healthy debate. Will you please just listen la, to la, me? La la la, I'm still not listening! I want to give you a free audiobook. A free what? Yes, if you go to audible.com slash cow, you get a free audiobook of your choice and a one month free trial membership. Don't they have like 150,000 audiobooks to choose from? Yeah, and you should check out A Wrinkle in Time by Madeline Langle. Wow, okay. This, that sounds great. Okay, so go to audible.com slash cow and get a free audiobook today. So in my experience, that policy is harmful, and I don't think that that politician... <laughs>